Hi, my name is Meg, and the name of my soap is Luluti, which is the Hungarian Romanese word for flower. I love flowers, and this is the flower full moon in May, so my favorite full moon. In the northern hemisphere here, it is the time of the year where the wildflowers are blooming in your yard and in the forest. It's when flower stands are everywhere, it's when you plant your garden, so it's a wonderful time right before it gets super hot and you can really enjoy being outside which i'm looking very forward to this is the first day here in wisconsin where it's gotten to the 70s so i've enjoyed it very very much today it's not gonna last <laughs> it's gonna be cold again by the end of the week but it's coming it's i feel it's coming very soon and you enjoy one day at a time, right? So I'm really enjoying what a beautiful day it is today. So this month, there is going to be a lot of the things I made last year, but I switched it up with scents and designs so it will look different. There's gonna be the flower pot soap again this year with a new look and a new smell. There's going to be Bee Girl, of course, one of my favorites and a lot of my customers' favorites. And there's gonna be a new bee bath bomb I'm bringing back the birds and the bees gift. It's just gonna look different and have some different things in it. And there is already some mother and child soaps in my shop now for Mother's Day. And there'll be some mother's gifts. There's a mother and baby gift, and then there's just a regular mother's gift. So lots of nice things for May. I have my first craft show of the year coming up the day before Mother's Day, so excited about that and if any of you live anywhere near Baraboo, Wisconsin, please come by if you like. It's going to be a wonderful fair on the square and hopefully a very fun and good day. So without much more, let's get into it and tonight's is going to be the first of uh, going to be the Bee Girl soap. Hello, so today I'm going to be making my Bee Girl soap. I'm very excited to do it again this year. It is one of my favorite singular essential oils and favorite flowers. It is Hyssop essential oil and it is a blue flower and although it, it was a blue flower, I'm going to do the flowers orange like last year just because I don't really have any molds that look enough like a hyssop flower and two I've done so many blue soaps for April in the past months that I just wanted to have oranges in the May collection. I feel like orange is the perfect color for May. It is red and orange flowers and yellow ones start blooming in May. So I have all my oils and butters melted and mixed with a lye water solution and it's just going to be one color which is my spirulina.
Okay, so I had to regroup because I had more batter than I expected, so it made three more. So I had to make three more bees and some little flowers since I didn't have enough of these. These were the ones that you saw me make with the Hungarian paprika in the beginning. And these, everything is going to get painted after they are set enough and unmolded probably tomorrow. Then I'll be able to paint the details maybe the next day. You want to give them time to not be sticky anymore so you can handle them without messing them up. And so here are the little bees. And again, they will be painted with their little stripes afterwards too so that they look really detailed. I have in my shop at all times little single-use soaps that are perfect to take on the go to wash your hands with especially if you're like me and you get hand eczema from uh, the soaps in public bathrooms they just I don't know what it is about those kind of soaps but they just tear my hands apart even if I'm doing good and I haven't had any on my hands in a long time that soap will bring it out so I like to have these on hand myself even in my purse and they come with a little cloth bag that you can wash and reuse there'll be a gift set again this year I'm doing the birds and the bees gift only with you know different items and I'll put some of the little flower and the little bee single-use soaps in them as well so it's cool I'll have bonus soaps here <laughs> Some will have, most will have the big flower, and then some of them will have little flowers. Okay, so I'll be back in the morning to unmold these, and I'll do the painting. Okay, so I painted most of these. I started off doing this one here. Get you in a little closer. And I wasn't sure if I liked it like that with the black in the center because it, it didn't make the bees stand out as much and um, you can't see the details of the center of the flower all that well. So then I went with what I have here now. And the darker orange is painted with red Brazilian clay. And then, of course, the little bees are painted with activated charcoal. You just mix the colors with... When I'm painting on soap, I use distilled water. If I'm painting on bubble bars or bath bombs, I have to use oil. That's the difference. You don't want to use oil when you paint on soaps because it'll never dry and it'll be all oily and just slide right off. And you don't want to use water on a bath bomb or a bubble bar because then it fizzes and ruins it. Okay. Give this a rinse. Normally I like to work with the lighter color first, but then now I take the red Brazilian clay and I was just doing these outer petals.
so B Girl and the rest of the May soaps and gift set and bath bomb will all be in the next full moon shop update, which is on May 16th. Shop links are listed below, as well as my Instagram, where I always show pictures of things as they're coming out, so you know what to expect. And I thank you for watching today, and please think about liking and subscribing, because I make new naturally colored soaps every month, so there's always something new to watch. Take care.